Oh my gosh. What's up guys, I'm Roderick, aka Rodman, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Oh my gosh, look at my hair. So I gotta, I gotta do something with it, man. But, um... Dude, did that Lakers Nuggets game, bro? I think I'm ticked off, man. I want the Nuggets to win, but... I want the Lakers to win for Kobe, if that makes any sense. Ah, it's so conflicting. We got a letter. Huh? It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, Rudo. P.S. Please don't tell my father. So what are we gonna do? Go tell her father. I think. See that thing right there? The entrance right there? That is the infamous water temple. Um, water temple Loki is like one of my favorite temples in the game. Like, I don't necessarily remember how to beat it, but like, I just remember loving the aesthetic of it. Like, and the music is really nice. There was some stuff in the game that was annoying. Don't get me wrong. Oh, wait, I can just do this. I was wondering, I was like, how do I get a fire over here? Oh crap, I gotta, um, I gotta light all the other torches too. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Actually, yeah, yeah, because I want another heart piece. How many deco sticks do I have? Four. Um, how am I gonna do that? Hmm. Okay, we got another deck of stick. Dang, this low key might be the same link from Majora's Mask. I'm just looking at the way that his hat is moving. And that's the same way his hat moves in Majora's Mask. I know that's like a really nitpicky thing to look at, but screw that song. All right. Come on, where's that thing at? Here we go. Whew. All right, ready? Let's go. We gotta do the dash. What did I do? Y'all? Dang it, I just missed it. Seriously though, what did I do? Hopefully the tower. Did I do it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Which one did I miss? Whatever, man. How many heart pieces do I, heart pieces do I have? Oh, I have three, though. If I get one more, I can get a heart up. I can get another heart, man. Ooh, 
The next boss is low key hard. Showing the letter, I be forgetting honestly. All right, All right there we go. This letter is from Princess Rudo. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my. <laughs> oh, she ate her, or he ate her. This letter, you keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Rudo immediately. This is the infamous scene. We have to sit here and watch him scoot across. Oh my gosh, bro. this is like the most pointless cutscene ever. But it's Ocarina of Time, bro. Like. I wonder how long it took to animate all that. Alright, so now he's out the way. What we can do now is we can go around to the back. This is Zora's fountain. And I believe there's some stuff we actually have to do before we go on Lord Jabu Jabu. Or am I wrong? Please do not distort Lord Jabu Jabu, King Zora the 16th. Speaking of 16, Final Fantasy 16, bro. I am super hyped. Um, I believe there's some... I already have a fairy, okay. Oh, perfect. I need those. Actually, I think the first puzzle in Zora's Domain involves... Not Zora's Domain, Jabba Jabba's Valley involves Deku. What I gotta do, yeah? I might have to listen to Navi. I can barely even see, man. Like, I know it's probably hard for y'all to see. How do I get into him again, bro? the ghost like somewhere over here and, like blow something up I don't know I'd be forgetting oh what oh I took a whole hearted oh my gosh Stupid tree. Alright. Dude, I can't even see, like, what's. Dude, what is going on right now? I'm gonna have to play the Sun Song, bro. I would just look on my TV, but I don't want to be doing this. I feel like I have to put like a bomb right here or something. 
Oh! I remember. I remember. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to get some fish. And... Yeah, we're going to get some fish. Alright, so I'm just going to go here and just jump off. Screw it, man. I don't want to... Yeah... Maybe I shouldn't have did that. I'm going to end up taking more time, bro. I just wanted to just jump off the top, you know what I mean? Just to, just to save time. But I think we can just ignore this minigame, bro. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some fish. Oh, come on, bro. I know you see him. We got fish. Let's go. The user will see something might happen. Oh, there was one right here. Oh, come on. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to give this little thing another try because I would like to have an extra heart going into this next dungeon because it can be a little bit challenging. It's definitely the hardest one we've done so far. Um, it's definitely the hardest one we've done so far. And... Go, go. Got it. Let's go. I hope that this is a piece of heart, bro. If it's not, we're going to be pissed. Oh, there we go. Alright, we got a whole other heart. Alrighty. So now all we have to do is go to Jabba Jabba's belly. Jabba Jabba's belly, low key, horrified me as a kid. I, I remember being at my cousin's house, and before the last, bef the room before the last, um, okay, the room before the boss. It has these big red wiggly things, and oh my gosh, that joke traumatized me, bro. They're so disgusting, man. I'm probably going to, ugh, I still hate them, bro. Okay, so we have fish, and what we're going to do is, is we're going to open the fish. Actually, I'll, I'll just show you. Let's just stock up on Deku Seeds. I don't think we need bombs or anything in this dungeon. Alright, so all we gotta do here is... Open the fish. I'm gonna just do it right here. Alright. So what he's gonna do is... Bam. Sucked us in, bro. <laughs> music, though. Hmm. All right. So next episode, we're gonna go ahead and start tackling Jabba Jabba's belly.